Well, look at that. Somehow I managed to do it. Hello everyone, and welcome to the next game for the month of the Pioneer. That's right, it is Portal. One extremely influential game in the gaming industry. Then again, Valve tends to do that, especially with their early games. Pretty much pick a random series of Valve's, the first one in it. It probably did something huge to shape the gaming industry. Let's be real, like Half-Life. So I figured I'd just do Portal. Because not every game in this list has to be has to be pre-HD systems. Because this is pretty damn influential too. And I haven't actually played Portal on this channel at all. Weird, Hello, isn't it? And again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur for your own safety and the safety of others. Please refrain from... Refrain from... Uh, something. Turn back. The portal will open in three, two, one. Okay. I need some music here. Oh look, there's Shell. Isn't that nice? You can actually see her. Probably as close as you'll get to seeing her, actually. Enjoy. At least for now, until we get the two portal gun. Hello. Don't mind me, I'm taking illegal contraband with me. Oh no, what do I do with this, bro? Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grid will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. Indeed. Ah, no more radio. I guess it's mandatory that we're not going to have any music up in this place. Why did you break my radio, Gladys? You are an evil AI piece of crap. Why would you do that to me? Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super button. Okay. I guess I gotta wait for it. There we go. That would be awkward if I gig if I went through it while it was switching, wouldn't it? Perfect. Please move quickly to the chamber lock as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. Okay then. Yeah, that's definitely not making someone feel paranoid, is it? Oh no, definitely not. Gotta love that elevator. And the loading screen! Isn't that nice? That's a limitation of the source engine. You're doing very well. Thanks. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but I taste is an iron. unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. Oh, that's great. Well, at least I'm not losing iron. Yeesh, can you imagine if that shot me? Very good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. Indeed. With it, you can create your own portals. These interdimensional <laughs> gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, Take however, that. has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Hmm. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you... Don't mind me, I'm just having too much fun here. Screwing around with the physics. Ha! Huh. Take that, you stupid camera. Oh, by the way, you can get a better look at Shell now. Oh, well, her feet? Ah, not great. Get a good look at her feet. 
Ah, there we go. There's a good look at Shell. Wait. Ah, look at that. You can actually... She's... She's looking at us. The blackest eyes. The devil's eyes. Sorry, I had to. Not sorry. Isn't this just fun? It's amazing. I mean... At the time that Portal was released, it probably wasn't really a thing for puzzle games to have such a rich Please narrative. To the chamber lock. Mind the huh. door. Oh, don't mind me, I'm just smashing all your cameras to first. Ensure the safe performance of all authorized activities do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Screw you, I'm doing it anyway. Wait, what the hell? Did I just make it disappear from the ethos? Okay then. So that's what happens if you close a portal when something is halfway through it. Okay. Good to know. Yeah. For your own safety, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Shut up. I don't have to listen to you, mom. <laughs> oh, this is too fun. Whoa. It's, it's coexisting in two worlds at once. I believe I've broken the laws. Or something. Screw it. Okay. If I was like a certain YouTuber, I would be like, uh... What do I do? Sorry, was that harsh? Well done. Remember, the Aperture Science Bring Your Daughter to Work Day is the perfect time to have her tested. Thanks for the... Thanks for the tip, GLaDOS. This is fun. You know, at some point I do plan to do all of Portal 1 and Portal 2. But there are just so many games. Okay, mandatory break in the camera. Welcome to oh, Chamber wait. 4. You're doing quite well. Heh. I'm doing quite well at breaking your stuff, that's for sure. Whoops. Okay, okay, there we go. I don't want to have to go in there. Once again, excellent work. As part of a required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. You're lying to me. Yeah, I definitely won't be finding a camera just suspiciously placed there for me to break, right? Let's make sure it's really unsupervised. Besides, Portal 2 establishes that you're not allowed to give advice. Because otherwise, you'll get a shock. Yes, unsupervised my ass. Certain objects may be vital to your success. Do not destroy right. testing apparatus. Shut up. I do what I want. You telling someone not to do something makes them want to do it. Don't you know that? Oh wait. Should probably do this first. Then we do it. Gotta think smart. It's big brain time. To quote a certain someone. Lovely. I could just go back through the portal, but why would I do that when I can jump? Jumping is great. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. I know. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, one. Ah, that's great. Who's staring at me through that glass? Nobody, because everyone's dead. Wait, can I drop this on my head? That actually worked. I can't believe that actually worked. Okay, that was actually kind of funny. Let's do that again. I'm probably going to end up kidding. I'm probably gonna somehow kill myself with this. Oh wait, gotta get closer. Gotta get even closer. Nope, that wasn't quite it. And I'm an idiot. <laughs> there we go. Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? Sorry, I had to. Because it amuses me, that's why. Do you have problem with that? 
Oh great, it's the energy thing. While safety is one of many enrichment center goals. Unbelievable. You. Subject name here. Must be the pride of. Subject hometown here. Yeah, probably. I uh, must be the pride of something. Don't mind me. Gotta love how they put padding up against this. They don't pad the railing though, so if you wanted to bash yourself against the, the railing, nobody would stop you. Nobody can stop you. Don't know why you'd want to, but you know. Devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Okay. Good. Now use the aperture science on stationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. Okay. What happens if I run into the laser? Wait, missed it. I have to get myself properly ori orientated. Wait, I'll just go on the platform and then I'll fall off. Okay, so it's basically just light. My bad. <laughs> there, I'm trying to get myself cut in half by a laser. That just shows what kind of person I am. I immediately try to come up with a failing state. Just proving that you can't you can't do every white surface, it has to be a special one. As we learn in Portal 2, it has to be coated in moon rocks. Which are also fatal to in hell, by the way. We have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good yeah, luck. I would imagine death would be bad, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would result in death, too. <laughs> A death that I wasn't trying to do on purpose? That's impossible. You know what? This is too easy. Oh no, it's so hard. I should quit being so sarcastic, huh? Some people might actually take me seriously. <laughs> there we go. Well, now that you've seen that, it's time for me to actually get serious. Implying that I wasn't being serious before. I mean, yeah, totally. That is an infinite loop right there. I actually maxed out how much you could do on options. Portal render depth. Apparently two is recommended. So see, it only gets you two. But I went for a full 9 because I have a GTX 1050 Ti. And it's not like this game is making it flex or anything. I'm pretty sure I could do way more than just 9, but you know. That is based on limitations at the time. Let's see if I just make random portals. There you go. Someone go through there now. No, oh, really. I dare you. Very impressive. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. Even though I just got killed twice, but you know. I'm sure that was just an illusion. Then again, the fact that you do respawn so quickly does seem to be suspicious, doesn't it? Maybe it is all just an illusion. And you can't actually die. It, it's almost as if this is a video game. The Enrichment Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. Oh yeah, definitely. It's definitely so impossible. Hmm. Oh, yeah, definitely. Let me tell you about it. Whoops. <laughs> Well, it will be impossible if I don't figure that. The Enrichment but. Center apologizes for this clearly broken test chamber. Yeah, you should. You should be. Because this is so broken that I figured it out. Fantastic. 
you remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. Yeah, most likely. Took me a second to realize that I'm supposed to portal through there, not try to shove the cube through there, because the cube is too damn heavy and Shell is... She's got chicken arms. She can't exactly throw it over there. What was I thinking? I was thinking that she was Hulk Hogan or something. Brother, if you had a little more arm strength, that plan would have worked. I blame you, Hello brother. Again. To reiterate, what? What are you talking about? Is this where we use momentum to our advantage? Oh yes! It's time for some gravity screw. We. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. Indeed. Gravity increases your momentum. And that momentum is maintained when you go through the portal. It's very clever, you see. It's using gravity momentum to your advantage. The function of mass and velocity is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Yes, indeed. I'm sure some people wouldn't understand that. I'm looking at you. But I understand it perfectly, even though I went it upside down. That's just part of the big braininess. Purposefully going it upside down. Just because why the hell not? It's a good thing this is still a video game and it works to correct that. Otherwise, Shell would have a pretty stiff neck right now. Well, to be more specific, she would become a stiff because her neck would no longer be in one piece. The Enrichment Center promises to always provide a safe testing environment. In dangerous testing environments, the Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. For instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. You're lying to me. Now we're talking. Huh, look at that. Hmm, look at that. Wait. Well, obviously. Hurry up. Thank you. Wait. Now I do it. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Thank you. Excellent. Now we're talking. Now come on. Hurry up. This is unfortunate. Come on. Thank you. There we go. Now I am going to have the two portal device. Two guns for the price of one. Hey, screw the it. device has been modified so that it can now manufacture two linked portals at once. As part of an optional test protocol, we are pleased to present an amusing fact. The device is now more valuable than the organs and combined incomes of everyone in Subject Hometown here. In Subject Hometown here. You know, if GLaDOS had wanted to, she could have been callous and named some third world country or something, but no. I guess that's just specifically to insult Shell. Then again, everything GLaDOS says is specifically to insult Shell. Didn't you know that? Now I've got orange! Orange, you glad for that? I can actually see it bend. That's interesting. I find that interesting for some reason. Now the ball's in my court. Get your teacher, fling yourself. Fling into space. Shut up, GLaDOS. I'm not that stupid. I'm not as stupid as you think I am. Only by about 5% margin of error. Excellent. 
Huh, look at that. Well, isn't that fascinating? Alright, let's do this. Let me give myself a running start. Geronimo! Crap. My bad. Ah, crap. You know what? I have two portals. I can just do this. Who needs to aim? Dang. <laughs> I thought I could just throw it. I forgot. I keep forgetting. Shell has chicken arms. She's not Hulk Hogan, brother. She can't do it. I'm glad we're on the same page, GLaDOS. I thought that too. Isn't this just magical? Loading, please wait. At least it's pretty fast. Then again, it better be for how old this game is. Now it was on the orange box. Control of both portals. This next test could take a very, very long time. If you become lightheaded from thirst, feel free to pass out. An incubation <laughs> associate will be dispatched to revive you with peptic cell and adrenaline. <laughs> that was kind of funny. I'm trying to make it pass through persistently, but that's not going to work because as the physics increase. As gravity increases, it's not going to go through the same way. Oh, I'll do it myself. Whee! I'm reaching terminal velocity! This is getting crazy! Jane, stop this crazy thing! I think I ended up in another dimension. I have no idea. Look at all those holes there. Like I said, I have it set to 9. You can see that it does eventually tamper off. But thankfully, Shell does... She's basically blocking it. She's obscuring it. It's kind of funny how that works. Man, this is... This is trippy, isn't it? Okay. I should probably get a move on, huh? Quit screwing around. Now, this is fun. Ah, uh, whoops. Now, that was uh, an unfortunate accident. Hmm. Ah, it eventually broke itself. I probably should have just waited, huh? Alright, now we're doing it. First, indeed, at least she's no longer asking me not to do it, because we both know that's falling on deaf ears by now. Hmm. It's probably that one that I need to do. I'm guessing. There we go. Uh, okay, I need two of them. Where's the other one? Where's the other button? I mean, the other uh, cube. Oh, wait, now I know. I can just use this portal. Oh, huh, wait. <laughs> I thought I could just use a portal through there and then get a cube and then come over here, but I have a far lazier solution. As part of a previously mentioned required test protocol, we can no longer lie to you. When the testing is over, you will be missed. You will be missed too, as I destroy all your equipment. Wait, are you upset because I'm destroying all your cameras? I mean, that's not going to stop me from destroying all your cameras or anything. Uh, just asking. I wonder if I'm going to get to the baking part of this before my time is up. I guess we shall see, won't we? Yes, we shall see soon enough. Very fascinating. All subjects intending to handle high energy gamma leaking portal technology must I'm be not waiting for your stairs. They may be informed of applicable regulatory compliance issues. No further compliance information is required or will be provided, and you are an excellent test subject. And you need to shut up. 
Okay, that is weird. How it just keeps flipping itself like that. So weird. Huh. Well, okay then. Nuts to that then. I'm not waiting for that. Crazy. I got better things to do. I'm gonna use portals so that I don't have to wait. Just be out your damn mind if you think I'm gonna wait for that. Let's see, okay. Need to do it a little bit more to the right. There we go. Nope. Still need a little more. Good thing I can just look through it and determine. There we go. There we go. Wait. Okay, that may have been a miscalculation. Hmm. Nope, I have no idea. <laughs> Wait. Better idea. Ah, you can't just cheese it with portals this time. You actually have to use that portal in advance, don't you? Fair enough. I suppose. Just so I don't get tempted. I actually do have to go on these platforms now. That's why they're there. And that's why I shouldn't die to the toxic water. Well, at least I figured it out. This is the right... Okay. I just wanted to make sure. It is aligned properly. Definitely not wasting my time here. Everything's fine, really. Don't even worry about it, Sunny Jim. Alrighty then. Let's go. Frickin' platforms. These platforms suck. There we go. It seems Shell is virtually incapable of having any vertical momentum. There we go. Very, very good. A complimentary victory lift has been activated in the main chamber. Thanks. Thanks, GLaDOS. You're always there for me. I'm sure I can trust you with my life. Probably. Just because I love seeing that thing warp. It has an effect on that glow texture. It's kind of interesting. Oh, that was fast. The enrichment center is committed to the well-being of all participants. Cake and brief counseling will be available at the conclusion of the test. Thank, Thank you, you for helping us help you help us all. Oh, whoops. There we go. Go to hell, Gladys. Vital testing apparatus destroyed. Indeed. Suck on that one, why don't you? I know what to do. I'm not that stupid. Heh. That was actually too well timed. Almost looks like I did that on purpose. But I assure you, I don't know what I'm doing. Ever. Oh, this is magical. Well, that's not gonna... That's not gonna be so easy, is it? Hmm. Oh, wait. Interesting. Well, I screwed up. Whoa. That was a mind screw, wasn't it? Okay, gotta... Whoops. I think I almost did it. Ah, son of a... Yeah, rat son of a... Crap. I am screwing up big time. Hang tight. Ah, there we go. My bad. It was a little bit screwed up there. Huh, look at that. Cute. Very cute. 
Try this. Come on. There we go. Huh, look at that. Nope, that's not gonna work. It has to be straight. Hmm. <laughs> well, that's weird. <laughs> well, look at that. Look at that thing bounce around. Well, look at that. Somehow I managed to do it. I'm not really sure how I did it, but, uh... Sure, let's go with that. Whee! Unfortunately, I'm going over my time limit here, so... I may just have to end this here. Whoops. Ah, but I wanted to... I wanted to go to the... The bake part. I think it's close, though, so I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going past my time. Even if it means... I have to wait a bit. Okay, come on. There we go. There we're, now we're talking. Now you're thinking with portals. Foo. Vital testing apparatus destroyed. Shut up. I think there's actually a lot more to it than this. The baking part may just have to wait until next time. When there is a next time. I'm not going to say if, because obviously... There is no if, there's a win. So unfortunately... I'm going to have to say, that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like perfect aiming required. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Oh, okay. Peace out, have a good one. And have a nice and pleasant day. Oh, I see. It needs another button. Okay, see you later. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here. No, you can donate one or all of your vital organs to the Aperture Science Self-Esteem Fund for Girls. It's true.